Hello, and welcome to the President's Update. We're talking special edition, and we're going to look at the update of the October 25th board meeting, our strategic plan, and a budget update. In terms of the October 25th board recap, we had the giant Happy Gilmore check from Robin and the Foundation team for the great work that they're doing, well over $600,000. We revised the 2020 budget based upon the budget reconciliation that we did, cleaned up a few debts in a few places. And I would just say um, we've revised the budget uh, in terms of our FTE and some other things. Ultimately, this new budget still have over $7 million in reserves in our accounts. So it's a very safe budget. And we instituted the agribusiness program to complement the agronomy and soil management programs that we have. Now, building our strong and sustainable future through a new strategic plan. I really appreciate the thank you event and all the things that we did to thank Dan and the team for the great work on the 16 to 20 plan. And I really appreciate people voting. Over 100 people voted for DOTS for the new strategic plan. That DOTS are leading to a survey. So if you dotted, you can survey again, pick in the top five of 15 items, and we're gonna have faculty and staff do that. Students are going to do that, as well as community members and our board. We're gonna pull that together with the new strategic planning committee and present some initial ideas to the board at their December meeting. Ultimately, an April board approval of a plan. In terms of a budget update, just wanted to give you a feeling of where we are, because our budget's pretty unique. We have a new governor, lots of stuff happening. Now, in terms of SSI and tuition, we did see over $500,000 new to the budget based upon SSI and tuition. Now, note the tuition's a gross increase because we do discount tuition for our scholarships and JATC students. We also uh, have uh, micro-credentialing, the tech cred, $15 million is out there, and we're in a window with uh, Tori and, and Jim Dreyfus working hard to recruit employers. We also have Rapids, and we've presented a grant for $122,000 for that. OCOG was something we tried to get in and didn't, but we did have the Community College Accelerated Program. We're one of the handful of schools that was in the pilot, and we were awarded over $600,000 for that. College Credit Plus had no policy changes, but we did submit a grant for $170,000 to help improve teacher credentials. Now, these are teachers who can teach for us in College Credit Plus or other programs, show we, should we so desire. There is money for high school credentialing direct to job, industry partnerships, and public-private partnerships. Those criteria are coming out in the fourth quarter and next year. There is a program on helping people with FAFSA completion. It's not a grant program. It'll be more of a policy thing. We've also opened up this year's Aspire program, and we've signed a partnership with a private partner because we had a waiting list at the end of last year, and we're going to scholarship people on that waiting list so everybody can get that ABLE GED degree. We do now have the authority to do a levy, but that's really up to our local board. In terms of the capital session, just submitted our capital request six-year plan. The biggest is building B finish money. So we got about $2.3 million in the last go-round. We're adding two point five to that. We're asking the foundation to add a million in fixtures, furniture, and equipment. That's what FFNE stands for. That'll be our big focus. We do see the possibility of separate pots of money to help us with our deferred maintenance. The chiller that went down this past year is $150,000. And money for physical or cyber security, like putting tinted on window to keep them bulletproof or some cyber um, activity to protect us, be more proactive. We do have other things on our six-year plan, including an agriculture building, road structure, safety, that loop road, a community engagement center, and the uh, redo of the auditorium and making it into an ideation center and working on building bay building a both interior and exterior 
Some other things, we were awarded almost $200,000 for short-term certificates. We were invited to submit for over $500,000 for equipment. And uh, we're going to be working with Goodwill, who they've been uh, given a grant, and we're going to be working with them on adult reentry. We were given uh, $620,000 as part of the fiscal agent in the DOL grant uh, that are going to build over five, 6,000 apprentices around the state. Lorraine is the lead, and we're the fiscal agent. We had two NSF grants that were currently rolling out almost a million dollars, and we were also awarded 76000 in Gen Cyber. We are awarded Perkins. Now, there's new criteria for Perkins. The bar in that's going to be a lot higher. Um, again, adult reentry grant with Goodwill already awarded. We're going to apply for TRIO SSS, as well as uh, we're going to submit a grant for the humanities. Part of our world right now, our ability to do good things is based upon being nimble, innovating, and measured risk. In terms of our nimbleness, here is the graduates by year. There are clearly more high school graduates coming to us over the next couple of years. And the rest of the country goes through a precipitous fall starting in 24. We don't. So we're going to work hard on changing our scholarship model to get more students here from area high schools. We are becoming a continuous enrollment engine. We started the second eight weeks. We're going to do another eight weeks. So we are innovating in our scholarships and enrollment. We are also going to figure a way on serving working adults. I heard more than once how our parking lots used to be more crowded and we have more classes in the evening. I believe there is a vibrant working adult market and we're working on doing what we do well. Take best practice, contextualize it to Northwest Ohio and scale it. And that's a group that's already started working on it. We're also serving our entire area. And we're looking at the Paulding and Van Wert area, maybe uh, getting a building of some type to be able to serve, uh, to get past that uh, veiled little window of 35 to 40 driving minutes that nobody wants to uh, kind of come here past that window. So that's all I've got. Really proud of the team. But I just wanted you to see where we are. The board recap. Keep doing the survey for the strategic plan, and we'll come back to more on that. And the budget update, just to let you know that we are in good safe zone on our finances, but there is pressure on our budget, and we're responding very nimbly and innovatively with some measured risk to be able to meet our budgeting and enrollment challenges. So proud of the team and everything that you are doing right now, and I am proud to be president of Northwest State Community College. God bless. Have a great day.